Hello everyone. Hi, Ashley. I'm going to tell you guys now, I want to get through these orders as quickly as possible. I'm still getting used to the summer schedule, and it's not been good to me. So, uh, sleep has not been my friend. Sleep has not been Teslin's friend. So that means I get less work done when I can't get enough sleep. So, who was it that was looking for Betty Boop uh, cover minders? And Nightmare Before Elm Street, I mean, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyone? Anyone here? I need it. Hi, Sharon. I need so it. glad to see you. Excuse me, I need a kitty tray. You want your kitty tray? Hold on. Yeah, because I'm good to. You need your drill pen too? Hey, can we make a video of this unicorn? I've already done a, a video of one doing one of these. This one's for you to do, okay? This uh, is one of those Dollar Tree um, diamond painting things. I wish we could go on a dime, a Dollar Tree hunt. Yeah. I wish you, I want you to separate them. I'm not going to separate them. I'm trying to do my video, Tesla. <laughs> Daddy can do it. He's not busy. Okay, Rose Love. Um, let's see. I've got a few glass cover minders for Nightmare Before Christmas. There we go. Oop. Mostly Jack Skellington, but hi, Cheryl. Lots of different uh, Jack in different views. And then we've got... Uh, why not? Can't you set, pull out the yellow ones for her? So there's the ones that I just got in. Um, it's a lot of work for me to picture and then label and then post all these. So I've got to... I think I have to rework how I'm going to... Um, list my glass cover minders they may have a separate listing for each one because it's getting overwhelming with all the different ones i have and hard to keep uh, track of them so as soon as i'm able to get that done they will be listed i am doing okay sharon i'm just a bit frazzled Hi, Michelle. Now let's pull my camera up a little bit. Hi, Bryn. All right, there we go. Um, let's start with our biggest bag, <clears throat> which goes to Judy in Ohio. Hi, Nancy. Ah, I was thinking these were the bigger ones. I didn't need this big of a bag. Probably can put it in a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put this, get the try and get the label off and put it into a smaller bag because we didn't need a bag this big. No problem, Alicia. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, I can't sleep because Tessa sleeps with me and she is very uh, squirmy. So we're working on getting her into her own bed again. It's going to be fun, but... Oh, we'll get it eventually. 
Okay, Judy ordered a blue letter opener pen. And she ordered some cover minders. Let's see. Panda. Panda's four. And then she ordered Elsa and Honor Elsa and Anna cover minders. So there's those. And she ordered the last one, Doggy Six and Unicorn Six, which, oh, lovely. So I have a six and a nine on the dogs. So that's six, yeah. And Unicorn Six. Let's see where it is. Here it is. Right there. And then she ordered three of the clear 12 slot organizers. And that's it. See, that stuff does, could go into a regular mailer or even a large one. It didn't need to be put into this giant one. So I'll have to reprint the label or something. So thank you very much, Judy, for placing another order. Been there, done that, Sharon? Yeah, it's, uh... It's been a long time since my kids were that age to where they were going to school all year and then all of a sudden they weren't. So, I'm... I never did a an in-home business like this to where it was nice having quiet time. And now I don't have it. So, all right, this next one goes to Talia in South Carolina. Uh, yeah, Cheryl, I'm sure all parents and grandparents, but our, our summer break started later than um, most of the rest of the country. So I, it's just now hitting me. Okay, she ordered a Chic, uh, chic Sparkle in dark blue and just so you guys know how i told you we were not going to carry these anymore because of the fact that they were harder to make and with jim getting a job we weren't going to be able to carry them anymore because we had to pull out the ones that are a little harder to make well i we found a way to make it where it wasn't so hard so we will continue to carry the chic sparkles and this is why there we go so there's the Chic Sparkle. Um, a cover minder is a <clears throat> something cute, something flashy like this that you set on your diamond painting cover while you're working on your diamond painting to keep it held back. It has two magnets on the back. One is connected to the cover minder and one is uh, one that you can remove. So you set this on the cover and the one that you remove goes underneath the canvas so it keeps it magnetically um, keeps your cover back with magnets well hello Gina you used to babysit the grandkids now it's great grandkids yeah <clears throat> I've got I, I also babysit my grandkids well I have one grandson He's been coming over quite often lately, and now my daughter will have um, my granddaughter in August, and I actually was talking to her, and since my husband and I are so busy with this business, it's really hard getting the house clean, so she's going to actually start cleaning the house, and I get to watch the grandkids while she does. So, uh, I'm just hoping that starts soon. <laughs> Hello, shine like a diamond. Barb, yeah, that's basically you bend back the cover paper and hold it with the minder. Hello, uh, Raylan. The photo was uh, beautiful of my daughter. Thank you, Jennifer. Hi, Tasha. Hope everybody is well and not sick or got any problems. Me too. Hi, hi Rosebud. Okay, so there's the dark blue chic sparkle, and then she ordered a purple glitter fun. These are the ones that have um, 
glitter and water. I don't have to do give the warning during this time of the year about the water freezing in these during the frozen months. We will uh, deal with that again once that time of year comes around. And then she ordered the large purple prismatic diamond painting accessories case in purple with blue writing that says sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. So there's that. The blue is kind of see, but it is there and oh my gosh is that pretty. It does look really good. So thank you Talia for placing another order. Just found out I'm going to be a grandma. First one in both sides of the family. Well awesome. That is so cool. Hi Kim. What is the difference between a cover minder and a... nothing, Cheryl? Um, the cover minders, the needle minders, you don't really, um, as far as I've seen, you really don't find needle minders that are heavier, like like these dragon ones. So cover minders can get big. Um, needle minders, not so much. They actually they kind of keep needle minders on the smaller side because they're on on a canvas and or on a um, cloth. So the heavier stuff is not always um, as useful. But with cover minders, we can go as big as we want, really. I mean, these some of these are really heavy. So, yeah, that's, that's the only difference between a cover minder and a needle minder. All right, our next one goes to uh, Tamara in Kansas. She ordered a 28 slot diamond organizer. We are out of the, we only have a few left of the labels, but here is a pack of labels. She also ordered a rose straightener. Good evening, Jody. And she ordered Auntie Mermaid in light purple. So there is Auntie Mermaid in light purple. I like those uh, mint mm. colors. I did not say Alexa. Mm. All right, so thank you very much, Tama, for placing another order. Mm. Okay. This one goes to Bob and Karen in North Carolina. Hi, Nicole. So they ordered a few pens and a few cover minders. Let's see here. Um, they ordered a Starry Night cover minder. And they ordered the Anti Mermaid in blue. Just that one right there. They ordered the cup and saucer set in blue. So those are two cover minders that are a set. They go together. So it will, it's two cover minders in one. A little, little cup and a little plate, a little coffee cup. And they ordered the mocha drink, which is here somewhere. Here we are. Hi, Gail. So there's our little Starbucks mocha. And they also got a coca-cola bottle which i did get back in stock i was out for a little while but i got more so there's a little coca-cola these are under mini minders both of these are under mini minders i think this is a mini minder too and they got the gray wolf pen and this has the new tip this um anti-mermaid it has this new tip um, 
I'm not sure if we're going to continue using this, this one on here because of the fact that it has to be glued in to use. Um, and something I found out with these tips is they need to be replaced every so often because they wear down just like the thin multi-placers. Uh, mine is already starting to wear down, so I'm not sure if I want to continue putting them on pens that are being glued in. Um, I mean, it's possible to pull them out from the glue because it's not super glue or anything. And then just purchase an extra tip later on to replace it as it wears down. I think that might be what we're going to do. For a first timer wanting to diamond paint, where would I buy my first kit? Michael's? Um, Michael's Hobby Lobby, they have kits you can grab, you know, off the shelf. They're pretty expensive, even with their coupons. But I would check um, Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, that would be a good place to try because you can get it in a couple of days. I have many um, videos with links to places on Amazon that have good, um, that I find are, are good quality. Um, some of my newer videos are actually... Um, I have, quite, I have quite a few Amazon, especially Star Roar. On Amazon, I would check them out. Okay. Can I purchase those tips by themselves for you, or would I have to buy the whole thing? Uh, I'm not selling the tips yet because I have to wait for my um, bulk order to come in. Once they do, I will be selling them in the shop um, under the multi-placers and straighteners. I'll have them in there. But I'm, I'm still waiting for that to come in. In fact, it might be here. No, that's not this. Oh, I got more cover minders came in today. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. I, I just got the mail brought in right before I started this video, so I haven't had a chance to look to see what's in my mail. Um, hmm. It says something was delivered, but it wasn't. Interesting. Wait, what's this, this? Oh, yeah. Okay, but no. Huh, they didn't come. So I'm just waiting for those to come. I don't recommend my personal opinion is I do not recommend paint with diamonds they are very hard to deal with if you have a problem with your um, missing drills or with the quality of your diamond painting so um, if you're asking my opinion uh, that is one company I would not um, personally use again Thank you so much. I can't wait to get started on my first one. I'm a big multi-crafter, so I look forward to trying something new. Cool. Gina got her first one off of AliExpress. A lot of people, when they want to try something, they want to try it now. Because I ordered one off of AliExpress, but then um, I couldn't wait. I really wanted to get started, so then I ordered one off of Amazon while I was waiting for that one to come. Okay, so the next um, item, they got the Coca-Cola bottle and then the Grey Wolf um, and also the Unicorn. These are under our premium diamond painting pens. And then um, they got Pooh. Cover minder, um, and he comes with a honey jar, which is right here. 
There's a honey jar. And then um, they ordered the gemmed lips. And the AB flower with the vari variant color. Let's see, that's this one right here. The colors are so, I don't, they have so many colors in them. I don't know exactly, can't, I couldn't give it just one color. So it's, I just call this one a variant color. Um, but this, it's got an AB coating on it. Um, and then they ordered the dark blue seahorse, tiny seahorse drill pen. And the gemmed black panther cover minder. And then, uh, for the love of seashells. And this one also has the new plastic tip on it. All right, so that's it for their order. Thank you very much, you guys, for placing another order. This next one goes to Jean in Pennsylvania. She ordered the Oval Owl, which is this one, the cover minder. And then she ordered the Beaded Butterfly, which is this guy right here. And... She ordered the raspberry flavored, we all scream for ice cream, diamond painting pen. And it looks like my husband doesn't know his colors, so hold on. Jim, can you come here, please? Can you come here, please? Okay, she also ordered the Lights and Sound Gray Owl, which is this one here. It hoots. I'm going to do that for you guys. And so we know it works. All right. And then the Yellow Curious Giraffe, which... I now have blue and green giraffes in the store. I think they're cuter than the yellow ones, but she ordered the yellow one. And that's what they sound like. I don't know what you have been buying so far, Tasha, so I really couldn't tell you what's cheaper than what you have been buying. Caitlin says, just diamond painting and listening. I'm excited for my order to get here. Yeah. Um, hi, uh, Sarah. Okay, what else is there here? Okay, she ordered the Bumblebee Buzz, which is this guy right here. This is uh, more of a, a floppy, flippy kind of um, pen. Very rubbery. And let's see. We are still experimenting with pens to see which ones will work with the plastic tip. Um... So until we really know, we're still using the metal tips and until we 
get it down for sure which ones we'll work with. No problem, Jean. I'm showing your order right now. So far, I've shown the, these three pens and your two cover minders that I've gotten to. And then the Wintery Friends, she ordered the Happy Rudolph, which is this one here. And the Snowman, she ordered all of them. No, these have been sitting here since winter last year and nobody ordered them. Then all of a sudden she ordered all four of them. Uh, the teddy bear and the angry Rudolph I called this one these will make great stocking stuffers for the diamond painters in your family and I'm waiting for Jim to get in here to fix the colors on um, the ice cream And once he does that, that's all of this order for you. So thank you for uh, for placing another order, Jean. The kids will love them. Any color is okay. Well, I uh, need to change it in the inventory, but this was cherry and this was um, lime. You ordered raspberry and pistachio, which was the dark green, and the magenta. This is red. Red. There's a big difference. So, let me put this to the side. I'll just go in an inventory and fix it real quick because, knowing my luck, someone will try to order something while we're in the video here. And it won't be available because I didn't change it. Ice cream. Alright, so we have a magenta left. But we don't have lime. We... There we go. Okay, fixed it. All right, so I'll get these sent out with your order then, Jane. I'm glad you were here to say that, to save Jim a little bit of work. Um, this next one goes to... I... Magenta, you you put in red, and this is dark green, and you put in a yellow one. But Jean was in there, and she said any color is fine. But that's a big difference in the colors on those mm -hmm. those um, ice cream pans. We've got to look at the colors on the picture. Right. Oh, don't be sorry, Rebecca. You showed up. That's all that matters. Hi, Trisha. Sarah is loving the butterflies. Hello, Becky. Uh, let's see. Nancy. This one goes to Nancy in West Virginia. She ordered the transparent mermaid tail in blue. Oh, no. Oh, she, okay, she ordered the light blue one, and she wanted the blue filling, so... There we go. There's the blue filling inside of the light blue tail. I know. I, I told your sister to clean it. Um, she ordered the lights and sound alpaca. Hi, Aloha. Sorry, I missed that. She wanted the white one, so here's the white one. All right, and then the Hello Kitty telescope, telescope diamond painting drill pen. Here is the little Hello Kitty. She looks like she's got a little boo-boo on her face. i got to clean her face. Come on. 
and this telescopes out pretty far. And yeah, this one's not. Yeah, I'll have to fix that one. I don't like how it turned out. Get it fixed. Um, then she ordered a pink final rose. So here is that. I don't know what the point of these caps are. They don't really cover anything. So these are really thin. You make it home safely. Oh, she's not home yet, Rebecca. She um, it postponed it by a day. Hi, Nicole. Sorry guys, I'm just doing a little cleanup from manufacture. They leave these, sometimes they give them to us so messy. I don't like it. And Jim's been doing the packaging and I don't think he would clean this up like I would, so. So I'm just making a little extra effort on it. You have to work early in the morning, so I have to get to bed. Y'all have a good night. Have a good night, Sarah. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, next one is, she ordered two Starry Night cover minders. So, those are right here. I think those are really pretty. And then the Singing Flamingo. I do have monkeys now. Um, I have not put them in the shop yet because they just, or maybe I have, I don't remember, but nobody really gave me any interest in seeing them. So if I'm not rushed to put them in, I don't put them in very fast. But here's what the monkey looks like. This one, the battery is dying, so I'm not putting this one in the shop. That's why it's here. See, he doesn't. He doesn't want to blink for us, so he's kind of in the section of things to be discounted or something. And let's see what else is in this order. That's it. So thank you so much, Nancy, for placing another order. I will make sure to get that um, Hello Kitty taken care of for you because it is cracked and I would not want that to go out the door. Hi, Molly. Don't worry, we didn't show your order yet. Hi, Cassie. I'm going to set that there. Keep that there. Okay. Next order. Goes to Molly. Hey. Speak of the devil. She ordered the Hello Kitty cover minder. Right there. And the Tinkerbell number 10. Which is this one. So thank you so much. Whoops. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to break one of these. Jeez. Do it again. Gosh. Nope, not broken. Just making sure. See? Nothing's broken. Thank you, Molly, for placing another order. You are welcome. Okay. Next we have Michael in Texas. 
ordered the black cat. Where'd that black cat go? Here somewhere. Ah, here we are. Here's the black cat. Thank you very much, Michael. Looks like it's your first order. So thank you and welcome to our world. Welcome, welcome Michael in Texas. All right. And the next one goes to Karen in Minnesota. She hasn't been able to make it to the lives lately. So I don't know if she's here, but she ordered the Glitter Fun in dark pink. And she ordered the Mini Minder uh, Bling Bow in red, which is this one right there. And then she ordered a Beaded Butterfly. So she was one of the three lucky recipients of this beautiful cover minder. So thank you, Karen, for placing another order. Oh, thank you. The um, In the blog, Tamara, is that what you're talking about? The top four YouTube channels to check out. I felt very privileged to be part of their list. This one goes to Gretchen in Pennsylvania. We've got some more of our plastic tip tips on these orders. This order here. She ordered a pink pastel dream catcher. I'm gonna have to start taking the caps off to see if they've got the this one's got the metal one. There's the pink dream catcher. This feather's been through a little bit of a ride, hasn't it? It looks like it got kind of wrecked. Oh, poor feather. You fix feathers. It looks like it needs to just be reattached. Caught it before it showed her address. Yes, I did. Um, the next one is a geometric key in pink, which is this one here. It's got the original. Oh my gosh, he's not cleaning these up. It's frustrating me. I'm, I'm sure the new tip would have fit on this one um, had he tried it earlier. Because I think, I think that it would have fit on here. But what he's trying to do is with the pens that have decorative caps, he doesn't want to use that cap on that, that tip on it because a lot of the times the, these caps won't fit back on them if you use it so if that's the case it will always be this tip that will be used on the pen but this is the first person i've seen order one of these beautiful keys yeah pretty cool for three four gals yes thank you so much tamra for recognizing um that we were recognized and gretchen also ordered the pharaoh's fan in pink we got a pink lover here and this one does have the new tip on it probably because the cap isn't anything special so it's got the plastic tip on it so thank you so much Gretchen for placing an order I think it's your first one yes Aloha I did get some Betty Boop um, cover miners I have not put them in the shop I'll show you here in just a second um, well Gretchen it looks like it is your first order so thank you so much for placing your first order and welcome to our world 
It's just a tip for diamond painting, it, but it keeps your drills from getting damaged by using a metal tip. Uh, let's see, the Betty Boop. Here they are. They are the glass ones. I believe there's 10 different ones in here, so. Let's see. And these are 30, uh, these are three centimeters. So they're the bigger ones. And then there's that one. And that one. So there's 10 different ones. I only have one of each. So that's what I do at first. I will buy a pack of 10 that have different designs if they sell well i'll order more if they don't then it will be the only time they will be in the shop and that's how it works heading for bed good night everyone good night caitlin thank you for stopping in and hanging out you want all 10 of them <laughs> does that mean you're going to buy all 10 because if that's the case I can make you a private listing but um uh, message me on Etsy because I check those messages after I'm done with the live and then we can figure it out from there and I will make sure if it's something you want to buy I can get the or the um listing put up faster than I normally would have if um nobody showed any interest see what I mean and if no one shows any interest when I show them in a live video, I will post them at my leisure um, because it's a lot of work for me making the listings. <laughs> it looks like you're going to have to find it out along with somebody else here. I've been wants some too. This one goes to Tom in Connecticut. First order for Tom. Tom ordered a Daddy Mermaid. And this one does also come with the new tip. And this is one of the only, one of two that we can put it in there um, without having to glue it in. I mean, it's a tight fit, but you would be able to pull it out and replace it if need be. And depending on how much diamond painting you do, um, like I said, these are just like the thin, the thin placers. They do wear down. I actually had to replace my four placer already because I used it so much that it wore down to where it was flat and there was no channel whatsoever. But these, these are really deep and the wax lasts a lot longer on the plastic tips as well. Hello, Mrs. Coffee. I got to have my daughter help me with what I'm, with that I'm computer illiterate aloha so you've i think you've ordered from the shop before so just send me a message um ebonique you send me a message as well on etsy let me know you're interested in the betty boop and i will make sure to get those up um first right away as soon as possible whatnot because i have it who likes gorgeous gals because i know there's one particular person in here that does like them named Jennifer and I was thinking of her when I ordered this um I wanted to welcome Tom to our world though because it was his first order thank you so much Tom for ordering and welcome to our world because I do have gorgeous gals Gor gorgeous gals I think yeah I've had to replace my four placer once already because I use it so much and they do tend to wear down but I really want to try those new plastic tips I haven't tried them yet yeah because they're not easy to get a hold of um, 
I'm waiting for my shipment. I, I have a very small amount right now and I'm using them on pens. I can't sell them um, separately yet, but once I do, um, I will have them in stock and kept in stock. Uh, hey, hey, super SS superhero. So, gorgeous gals. Here they are. Where are you, Jennifer? Jennifer Roberts. So there they are. If you missed them, Jennifer, you might have to rewind because uh, I can only leave them on the screen for so long, you know. <laughs> but there they are. Those are gorgeous gals. Um, there are they attract to certain people. I've seen many people get these done as um, customs many times. Um, oh, thank you, Jean. I'm trying to make them um, readily available to everyone to order as by themselves or um i'm trying to make sure try and make them fit on as many pens as possible the roast rule pane is a very pretty not sure the translation on that we've also got garfield now those came in got more hello kitties just gonna show these quickly because I know I've got more orders to get to more hello kitties um, I got a lot I got another batch of the Tinkerbell I got Minnie Mouse cute Minnie Mouse ones I got some Lilo and Stitch actually these are all Stitch I don't think Lilo's yeah she's in a couple of them so Stitch Lovers. I did place a very large order for pens this weekend. So um, more stock will be coming up. Things that were sold out. Things that were low on stock. Colors were run out of. Um, those will be coming back in very soon. I have more Frozen um, cover minders. Different. There's Olaf. Uh, I got a couple of different varieties of those. Here, here's the other one. Some of them are duplicates with this pack, but they're they were separate listings. And here's another one, the more cartoony. Oh yeah, there's another one with Olaf. So yeah, I've got three different Frozen ones. Um, as I showed last week, I have a Wonder Wonder Woman, which they cheated me on half my order. Uh, I showed the Hello Kitty already. I've got Fight Like a Girl. Um, and the last one is My Little Pony. So if you don't see them in this in the shop and you are interested, please leave me a message on Etsy because if it has to do with the shop, it is ple it is best if you please message me. On Etsy so that I can keep track of where I found I saw the requests it makes it way easier for me to keep track of everything not to be mean I just really need um, things to, to be more uniform so I can keep track of things with the YouTube channel my life my personal life my the group and the shop I have messages coming from all different directions and it's really hard for me to keep track of where I saw a message sometimes Oh, good night, Mrs. Coffee. Didn't know you're not leaving. Glitter Angels is. Okay, good night, Michelle. Yes, Betty, I showed Betty Boop. I did show her. Um, all done. I hope I did it right, but I will share. 
You will share. Oh, that's nice. You sent me a message on Etsy for the Betty Boop to Ebony. Great. So when I get that listing, I will send both of you a message at the same exact time. And you guys can um, fight it out on who wants what. Or maybe you guys could message each other and figure out who. <laughs> maybe you guys can work it out. I was like, wait, am I going to sleep? LOL, no, I'm just sitting here steamrolling one worth melting for. Okay, because uh, I saw you, someone say goodnight, Miss Coffee, right above here, and I'm like, wait, is she leaving? And then I had to go back up to see that she's the one that was leaving. Got it. Okay, let's go back to the orders. <sighs> All right, next one goes to Carla in California. She ordered two anti-mermaids, one in pink and one in light purple. You're here till the end. That doesn't sound creepy. No, that just sounds like you're a good friend. So there's the pink and light purple anti-mermaid. And these ones, he didn't put the new plastic tip on. I think he may have made these before um finding out that he can use the plastic tip on these the thing is is when you use the plastic tip or a multi-placer it takes away this much length i don't mind having a shorter pen myself because i am using this pen for my uh, five placer and i don't mind having it shorter because it is a bit thicker right there for me to be able to use um uh have a fatter grip on it So there are those. So thank you very much, Carla, for placing another order. And this next one goes to Stephanie in Ohio. Hey, Jim. Jim. Did you make our dinner? What? Did you put our dinner in the oven? Yeah. Oh, I was hoping you'd wait till I was done. I don't, I can't eat it right now. I'm saying I was hoping, anyway. Um, she ordered the cute as a button Hello Kitty in light purple with a pink barrel. Um, this is not the one. This is not the pink barrel. So that's not the right pen. That's a white barrel. But she ordered the, got the blingy metallic in gold. So there's that. And I don't think he's experimented with this one yet to see if the new tip will fit into it. But, um, I might have him try it since it is coming loose anyway so yeah i'm gonna have him fix this one but thank you so much stephanie it is your first order don't worry everything will be made to my standards before it is finished so thank you very much for placing your first order and welcome to our world hello diamond painting dreamer and congratulations on being one of my winners for my last giveaway so exciting to see somebody who's so active in the channel win cool i can't wait to see it done oh talking to someone else uh next one goes to christine she ordered a few cover minders so she ordered tinkerbell number eight which is here so she ordered tinkerbell eight and she ordered the mocha drink right there and she ordered the ab flower in purple right there and she ordered last but not least the mermaid scale scale to i i was very uncreative when i made the name for it but these are really cute little minders with the mermaid scale i called it the color pinker because i couldn't think of another pink word other than pink and we have another one that's pink so i named this one pinker and i only have one so <laughs> she got a pinker 
So there we go. Thank you very much, Christine, for placing another order. I watch videos, but most of the time miss giveaways because I watch and do at the same time. Well, my giveaway was, it was like nine days. Um, all you had to do was comment on the video. And um, I, left the, I left it running for nine days before I did the drawing. So I try and make it available to as many people as possible. And it was worldwide this time. So, and you know, when you know it, I think everyone who won was in the United States. This one goes to Elizabeth in Ohio. I don't know. Are you still here, Elizabeth? Because I know you were here. Let's see. She ordered White Wolf number two uh, cover minder, which is right here. Well, if you want to enter a drawing, you just comment, you answer the question in the video, and that's your entry. So you don't have to actually comment consistently to be able to win. It's, I ask a question, you answer it in the comments, and that's your entry. And that's how I've been doing all my drawings since, other than the very first one. There you are, Elizabeth. So there's your cover minder, your white wolf, number two. And you ordered the metallic warped feather in silver. Yeah, I was shocked when I saw your name, a name that I recognized because there was like almost 400 entries. So there's your silver warped feather, metallic warped feather. I'm hoping to find more of these. I'm going to send my sister on a hunt and some other friends in other states to look for them for me. She's hiding. So thank you so much, Elizabeth, for placing your first order. And welcome to our world. I'm glad you love them. As you can tell, there's no magnets on these yet because uh, I slept all day. But I will be doing them after the live is done. And I'll be working on them probably until midnight. This next one goes to Andrew in Michigan. First time order. Andrew ordered the Sly Fox, which has the new tip. So there is Sly Fox with the new tip. And the Black Wolf. See, I don't know why you can't put the tip on this one. But Jim says it's too small Oops, to fit on this one. So um, this one has the original tip on it. But that way... A person can decide which one they like better. I still use my metal tip, but not very often. I mostly use my um, my new um, plastic tip. So thank you so much, Andrew, for placing your first order, and welcome to our world. Am I feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just stressed. Just stressed because I don't get much sleep with summer being here and Tesla basically determines what hours we get up in the morning. So I took a nap and I slept a little too long. I didn't want to get up. Jim tried so hard to get me up. He was like sitting on the bed talking to me and all of a sudden I'd start snoring again and he's like, Donnie, wake up. I'm like, I am awake. He said, no, you were snoring. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so this one goes to Cheryl here in Oregon. Hi, Bobby. I know you were having a lot of pain lately, so I was just asking. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, it depends on the time of day, too, and how much sleep I get. If I, if I don't get enough sleep, I'm in a lot more pain. But thank you very much for asking, Jill. That was very kind of you. I appreciate that. So... Cheryl ordered this, no, not that. She ordered the cross, cross number four, cover minder. It's got that pearl in the middle, or opal, or whatever. Pearl, it looks like a pearl. Um, and then she ordered the mermaid's little sister in pink, which is right here. See, I think what happened is 
I'm thinking they redid the little sister because this is what the little sister looks like. It looks really close to what the anti mermaid looks like, but the anti mermaid has a more bullet um, shaped tip. And that's another thing. If we if we um, add, I think this is the one that can't have the tip. I don't know. I'm so confused anymore on what can and what can't have the multi tips on them. But when we do, a lot of the time, the tip won't fit back on. But with this plastic tip, Jim's really trying hard to make sure that the tips will fit with the plastic tips. But, um, yeah, we only have so many of them. So right now, it's in an, the experiment phase. So not everything's going to have it on there that can have it on there, um, especially if we already know it'll fit. We've tried it on one, so we have very few to wiggle with. Just waiting for that order. So that's the pen Cheryl ordered. And then she ordered a large pink quartz cover minder, which is this one, right? No, that's the purple one. There's the large pink quartz cover minder. I know it doesn't look large, but it's wider than the others. The, the large pink ones are actually smaller than the large purple ones, but you, the small ones are even smaller. Yeah, so there's the large pink quartz cover minder or cross cover minder and her pen. So thank you, Cheryl, for placing another order. I don't think you make it to my lives, but if you do watch this later, please let me know if you want. Well, we've already bought the shipping label and they're going out tomorrow. So if you don't let me know by tomorrow, if you want to meet up for your order, um, then this will just be going out in the mail and you'll probably get it the next day. So thank you for placing another order, Cheryl. All right. Next. Next, we have Glenda in North Carolina. You should get some what? Well, you took the message away. I didn't read it. You didn't mean to retract your message? <laughs> well, type it again because I didn't get to read it. All right. This one, like I said, to Glinda. She ordered Anti Mermaid in blue, which is right here. So this one has the metal tip. And the Regal Peacock in light blue. Metal tip right there. And the Daddy Mermaid with the plastic tip. And uh, Rainbow Fairy Magic, which is right here. So there's the Rainbow Fairy. Regular tip. That reminds me, um, Etsy has now given me the ability to connect a certain choice on a listing to a certain picture. So I'm going to be upgrading um, as I work on the shop to make it to where the listings will, when you click on that certain color or that certain choice, it will also bring up the picture that it goes to. So that will um, relieve some of the confusion that people have with some of the options. How do you use the cover minder? Um, here, I got a diamond painting right here. I can show you. Um, there's one other pin in that order I haven't shown yet. But see, here's my cover. It's very annoying. It does not stay over, especially when I have fans running. So when I want to diamond paint, you know, I pull the cover back. Here's my cover minder. It has a magnet on the back. And then it has another magnet. So you stick your magnet on your cover there. Underneath the canvas, you put the other magnet. And it stays. And it keeps your cover back. So you don't have to worry about it flopping all over the place. I mean, that's for people who don't like to pull the whole thing off when they're diamond painting. 
but with the bigger cover with the bigger diamond paintings that's not something you want to do especially when it's an opaque cover and i still use these on the opaque covers too on the double-sided adhesive ones so and then when i'm done i like to just pull pull the cover back out i like to keep them him right there and then i put this back over but see, I've done some of the diamond painting in some of this area, and so the sticky doesn't like to stick down very well. So I will also use this, and I'll stick it like over here to keep it flat afterwards. So I, it's not getting dust stuck to it because of the fact that it won't go down all the way. So there is my demonstration. I'm going to start doing a demonstration on cover minders at the beginning of every one of my um, show and tells because I think it's helpful and I have at least three or four people asking me what a cover minder in, is and how to make them work. And I understand that because it is something new that um, I just recently started um, doing and it's really taken off. Other people are starting to call them cover minders and start making them and they're selling them in shops now. And yeah, I feel kind of proud to be the original cover minder namer okay so let's finish her order she also ordered a pink crystal fox and that is right here and just um for those that aren't aware when i these get bagged up um if if this part can come off the top we do remove it and wrap it separately like this it has a clip and we can remove it but we can't remove this the fox that's the only one we can't that i can remember um yeah but that will happen sometimes where it's not removed because we can't remove it it doesn't have that capability but this one we can so that is her order thank you very much glinda it looks like it's your first order so thank you so much and welcome to our world. Uh, basically, get some real gemstones. They would be awesome as cover minders. Well, that's what these quartz are. Those are real. They're just, I think they're dyed or something. But they're, this is real quartz. And it's just a matter of me finding them. It's, I find what I find when I go certain places. And if I don't find something, I don't go out of my way to look because I don't have enough energy to go shopping in a lot of stores. I basically have enough energy to do one store, and the rest is online. So if I find it, I find it. If someone sends me a link, I definitely will look at things. If they have ideas, I go with it. Oh yeah, I didn't realize they were real ones. Yeah. Oh, it says uh, some crystal and amethyst pieces for cover miners. I bet they would sell good. Yeah, I actually have... Um, I really wish I, I could pin it to the top, but we have something else pinned to the top in the group right now. Um, um, asking people what they prefer, what they would like to see for cover minders and pens, um, just so I know what to look for when I'm doing my shopping. And having all that stuff in one place really, really helps me to know what, and I have. Someone was looking for squirrel diamond paintings, and so I kept my eye out, and I finally found squirrels, and now I carry squirrels. Same with the Betty Boop cover minders and the Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, all that kind of stuff. I need, you know, I need to know what you guys want, because if I'm going to sell stuff that nobody wants, it's not going to sell. But if it's something people want, then it'll sell. So I like to hear from you guys. Parrots. I do have parrot um, a cover minder. I do. Have, it's in the wooden cover minders. I think you ordered it. Somebody ordered up the parrot cover minder. Um, I do still have one left, I think. And I have parrot type birds in the pen shop. But I'm not sure if they're still in stock. I know I ordered more. They're on order because they haven't... I don't know if they sold out or if they were really low. So I do have more birds on the way. All right, this one goes to Barb in Illinois. She ordered two SpongeBob's. So, and there you go, Barb. There are your two squishy little sponge guys with pants. And you have ordered before, so thank you very much for placing another order. 
Yes, me too. Would like to know what our cover. I, if you rewind a little bit, Christine, I, I just showed exactly what the cover minders do. If and you can just rewind a little bit. I pulled out my diamond painting and I showed how to use a cover minder and what it was. Okay, next we have Carol in Ohio. She ordered two cover minders. She ordered dog number seven and dog number nine. So she ordered these um, retrievers, it looks like. I'm not really good at being able to tell what dogs are what, but I think that's a golden retriever. And I'm not sure what that dog is there, but there's those. So thank you so much, Carol, for placing another order. You are welcome, Christine. Our next one goes to Becky in Washington. She ordered a white tray with a gate, which is right here. And we do have a pair of tweezers. And a light blue colorfully gemmed with filling. I think that's light blue. It looks regular blue to me. I think that's regular blue. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that fixed because that is not light blue. And of course, she's never ordered before. I don't like it when things get messed up on people who've never ordered before. So thank you, Becky, for placing your order for the very first time. Welcome to our world. We will get this color fixed for you. I will set it aside and have that taken care of right away when I'm done with this video. I do have a package that I wanted to open that um, to show you guys that someone sent me. Um, I did get a package um, from Amy in Australia. And I wanted to say thank you very much, Amy. This was uh, this was her um, the package she sent me all the way from Australia, and I really appreciate sending you sending me some pen tips because you know there are points when I'm waiting for my orders and it doesn't seem like they're ever going to come, and sometimes my husband doesn't tell me until we're almost out completely. So I don't get a chance to order fast enough and I rely on donations in order to just pull me through or I have to rely on, you know, all the ones, the kits that I open up myself and I have to scrounge to get the tips. But um, I do appreciate everybody who donates their pink tips. So even though I'm ordering massive amounts of them, I can always use more donations if you guys aren't using them. Um, my address is in the description box of every one of my videos. And I appreciate every one of you who helps by sending anything that you think that I could use. I give away wax. I give away um, the, the plastic, black plastic tweezers with trays. I try to give away things that people donate to me that I think people could use. Uh, something I'm not going to sell. I'll just give it away. And if anybody asks for something like that, you know, I have it. And so, yeah, thank you very much, Amy. For, for sending those to me. I also have another package. Um, I've got to have my husband grab it because I don't know where he put it. I got my big train last order. I love it. Oh, I'm glad, Aloha. Um, hello, Tina. I will see what I have when I get home again. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Can you give me that package that came in the P.O. box? You're in the middle of playing your game? Stephanie, are you out there in the kitchen? I think it's right there on the table. This one? Mm hmm Thank you very much. Okay, so I wanted to open this package real quick. It is from Kay. I don't know if Kay's in here. She, she comes into these, these chats once in a while, um, but I think it's mainly when she's ordering stuff. I'm going to take off the label here, just kind of hide her address, trying to pull it off fast. So, oh my gosh, 
it just blows me away the generosity of people just the, the amount of postage that is spent sending me items or pet just pens you know i don't know what's in this package because i don't keep track of what people say they're gonna send me so we're gonna find out tina sorry was late but i had to have my cat put down oh my god i'm so sorry you're feeling down about it That scared me. I thought I wasn't going to be able to reconnect. But I'm I'm terribly sorry, Tina. I know how it feels. And I understand you wanting to just sit back and watch. Um, if you reload my, my uh, YouTube disconnected from my video, my live, so I had to reconnect to it. So, it's not you, it was me. Alright, so I'm going to open this package. And let's all say a little prayer for Tina's kitty that had to go to the Rainbow Bridge to be with all these other kitties that missed their owners. I should have done this at the end, but it's late and I'm nodding off. Good night, Barb. Thanks for hanging out. Oh my goodness. Look at what we got here. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy macaroni. Praise. Oh my goodness, I think the um, nail salon is going to get a donation because these trays, I mean, if anyone shows interest, anyone, any of you guys who are new, because anyone who's been doing this for any amount of time like I have, they've had plenty of these. But if you are new and you are wanting a, one of these types of trays that you see here, um, these, I sell these in the shop, the bigger ones, but these smaller ones, you know, I'm, I have tons of them now and like these, something like this, let me know if you need a couple, I will toss them in your order. Um, it's, he's like, here's more tweezers, more pins. Oh my gosh. She just tossed them all in here. This is just amazing. Thank you so much, Kay. Holy cow, there's like wax and tweezers. So I have more tweezers now to be able to give away with tray purchases. And oh my gosh, so yeah, she basically sent me all her stuff that, and guess what? My husband gets to go through this. <laughs> bags, all right, I, I, I like to use these bags um, sometimes when I'm sending out the cover minders, I put my cover minders in those sometimes. Oh my goodness, now I have a lot of wax to give away with pens. I think I'm going to start giving away more than just two chunks because uh, I have enough to last my lifetime. Crazy. Crazy. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Kay. I am indebted to you. I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here's my big heart for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Jim, when you're out of that, whatever you're doing, um, I'd appreciate it if you could come by. Can you hear me? I don't know if he heard me or not, but I'm keeping the bags. <laughs> All right, our next order. Yeah, we're almost done. We don't have too much more to go. It goes to Angelo in New Jersey. Two dragon cover minders in set three that are purple. 
Thank you. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. He was the one that was saying we were almost out of tips, metal tips. So, you know, it always seems to be when we are running low that somebody just seems to know that and they we end up getting a package with tips. So, seriously, I I don't think that he minds. And if he does, oh well. <laughs> Hi, Trish. Um, now my craft room is clean. <laughs> oh, I'm glad your craft room is clean. You should see Jim's work area. It is, oh my gosh. My, my craft room is a cluttered, organized cluttered, um, um, disaster, but at least it's organized and I know where things are. His is a cluttered disaster that he doesn't know where things are. And I think he cleaned things up a little bit. So, um, we were able to add some things into inventory we didn't think we had because he didn't know that they were there. So here are those two cover minders, the two uh, purple dragons. They are matching now. I love this one. This is my favorite of them all. So I don't know if they ordered before. Um, it does look like they have. So thank you very much for placing another order. I don't know if it's Angelo or if it's Linda, because Laura, I mean, because the buyer is one name and ship two is a different name. So whichever one you are, thank you very much. And the next one goes to Teresa in Kansas. She ordered uh, two mini minders, the ladybug and the pink ribbon. So she ordered these two mini minders. And thank you very much, Teresa, for placing another order. And next we have Danielle in Oregon. She ordered a gray squirreling around. So that's this little guy right here. It's with the original metal tip. And I believe she's ordered before. Yes. So thank you very much, Danielle, for placing another order. Next. Um, here we go. Um, this one goes to Teresa in South Carolina. And let's see. She ordered two of the anti-mermaids, one in red and one in light purple. Oh, this needs to be glued down. And they have the metal tip. I've got to find a way. Um, to determine on pins that can take metal tips or that can use the white tips, the plastic tip, if people prefer not to have it. Um, I think we would just need to start having people tell us that their preferences. Um, it doesn't mean that's the one we're going to use because some pens, they don't, can't fit the plastic tip. But if somebody prefers the metal tip, I would really appreciate it if they could put it in the, the note to seller. That way we know that that's the tip you prefer and you don't want the white tip even to go on it no matter what but um if you prefer the white tip you don't need to say anything because if we have it we will and it will fit we will use it well maybe not yeah let us know if you prefer white tip let us know that too because if we do have a white tip and we can use it we will yeah my, i'm i'm still trying to work it out in my head sounded better up there than it did coming out my mouth but I'll get it figured out so thank you so much Teresa for placing another order uh, you got yours like that today now your mermaid pen family is complete awesome Tina
right, this one goes to Gia in New Zealand. Looks like it's their first order. Um, I think it's a different name, um, but that's the name that's on the address label. Um, Nirmala. She ordered a blue, colorfully gemmed with filling. Blue. Okay. So this is the blue one. Yeah, this is the regular blue one. And the other one was the... They had ordered a light blue. I don't know. But this is the right color for this order. She ordered it with filling. And here it is. So thank you so much, Gia. I know it was really rough having the expensive shipping to New Zealand. It kind of helps when you buy more than one item because the shipping doesn't change. Um, you can get quite a few pens and the shipping is still the same rather than buying several different orders where you have to pay shipping each time. So sometimes it helps when you have several different things you want to get and you get them all at once instead of doing it all one at a time and then you're paying that $15 shipping every single time. But thank you very much for placing your first order. Welcome to our world officially. Oh, you went and visited the store, Alicia? Was that your first time? <laughs> Does the Daddy Mermaid pen have paint issues? What do you mean paint issues? A lot of the dolphin pens, I've noticed that the more you use them, um, the, the paint will sometimes chip off. But if you, before starting, you start using your pen, if you cover it in a layer of uh, clear fingernail polish, the paint seems to last a lot longer. Oh, awesome, Alicia. Did you find anything you liked? This one goes to Carol in Idaho. She ordered two of the um, uh, Myth of the Mermaids. So here are those. I think these can have the white, the new tip put in them. I'm not sure. Yeah, with that one, do I need to put Paul? I don't, I've, I don't have any issues with paint on mine coming off. Um, but I don't use it all the time because I use multi-placers a lot and it, I have a single placer on my Daddy Mermaid. So I would just do it, you know, better safe than sorry. Um, these right here don't seem to have that issue. The other ones that have the different colors that have like a blue tip or the purple tips, those ones tend to have that issue um, more than this one, the one I have of this one, and from what I'm hearing from people, they this one doesn't have that issue either. But they put fingernail, um, clear fingernail polish on it just to preserve the color. Just, you know, because it's not going to hurt anything to put the clear nail polish on them. You are welcome. Um, you did find something you liked. Cool. So happy my dad got me a drafting table for my birthday and just finished putting it together and can now diamond paint on it. Yes, April. I love having my um, tilted tilted tables to diamond paint on. I couldn't do it if I had to do it flat. I was doing it for a while flat, and I was in so much pain. It was horrible. Okay, Carol also ordered the beaded butterfly. So that's all three beaded butterflies that I had. They are all in this order. They are all gone. I will keep my eye out for more. So thank you so much, Carol, for placing another order. All right, next we have Barbara in Florida. She ordered a retro disco ball in purple. It's right there. And then she ordered the Prettier Diamond Sister in dark pink. And this one, my husband was able to use the um, pink tip on the plastic tip on. <laughs> Can't even think of what it was. But, so yeah, the um, Prettier Diamond Sister can have them put on them as well. And, but that's purple. <laughs> Another one, wrong color. 
So she ordered pink, dark pink, and wait, I don't know. I Pink. I'm confused on colors now. Maybe that is dark pink? I gotta see the other ones to know. But then she also ordered the large purple quartz cover minder. So there is her cover minder. The large purple one. And she has ordered before, so thank you very much for placing another order. I will check on this um, color. So that will go over here, and I will check on it after I'm done with this video. Uh, it holds 90, 60 by 90 with ease. Awesome. Yeah, that's my big drafting table is like that, too. Um, it's just not very convenient using it in here. I'm sure I'll use it again someday. Probably out on the kitchen table would be a good place if I could... Um, just set something up like that have a separate table once we move one of these days when i get myself a really big craft room i can have a separate table table for a huge project like that going on but with this only having this one table i was always having to pull it down and put it back up and it was just too much of a pain for me to use so having a table itself to be able to tilt up that would be nice but i have too much stored on this table to do it What's the difference between metal and white tips? Um, the white tips won't scratch like the metal tips can. The metal tips, I've noticed, will sometimes scratch my drills if I'm trying to push them around or I move them or I slip and then they scratch all my drills up. The, me the plastic tips won't do that. I've noticed the plastic tips also have a larger reservoir, um, but the wax lasts longer in in my uh plastic tip it was a long time before i had to even add any more to it and that's about it they're lighter weight i don't know um they don't fit on everything like the metal ones do and they do wear down so just like the thin placers it's made out of the same material as the thin placers so if you're using it you more than if you're using it a lot you're more than likely going to have to replace it at some point or another your library is big enough that's cool are the white singles for the rhinestones they can be used for rhinestones but they're for regular drills i use them for single single drills regular square and rounds you can use them on rhinestones i had some rhinestones on the diamond painting i'm working on um no i use a regular pen for that but i guess the more it wears down the bigger the hole gets so it would be easier to use on the, the large special drills but rhinestones it can be used on rhinestones it can be used on rounds and squares No, they're not, they look bigger, but they're not. I mean, it's a regular, um, it's a regular tip. Let me see if I can pull one up. I just had one, huh? Well, here's one on this one. So here, you can look at it a little closer. And the hole is pretty small. It's it where the wax is held. It doesn't want to focus here. Oh, it just doesn't want to focus. Yeah, so it's the same size as a metal tip. But the fact that it wears down will mean that it will have to get replaced at some point if you use it a lot or if you're if you're a hard driller like me, I always push down really hard. So I mean the hole may look a little bigger, but it's it really isn't. It's the same size as a here, let's see. Yeah. See that? Oh, it's not even. Let's try and get it even here. <laughs> it's 
So I can't seem to get it even in the camera. I'm looking at it from the side. There you go. The whole... So that should give you some idea of the size. It uh, looks exactly the same as the metal tip. But because it is plastic, it will um, eventually wear down. And like I said, I plan to have extras in the shop as soon as my bulk order comes in. So um, once I do that, we'll be putting them on more, more of the, the drill pins. And we'll have them available for extras to be purchased as well. Okay, this goes to Shir Shirnia in Florida. Um, she ordered the Loud and Proud Sister with the green vest, which is what you saw me using as a comparison. She's right there. And she ordered I Lost Track of Time Diamond Painting Blue with the black barrel. So there's that. And, oh, that one has the metal tip. So does the loud and proud and then she also ordered um, the comfy grip 2 in black with personalization she wants vet stat put on it and I will be adding that afterwards it just takes so much time grabbing everything to put it in but I will do that before it is shipped out it will get its personalization in fact I will stick it right here to do after the video um, it looks like you have ordered before, so thank you very much for placing another order. I know the feeling of being annoyed for DPs on a small table right now, doing Cotart Tribal on a small table, it's not easy, yeah. I'm, you know, I haven't done anything really large since um, Topsy Turvy, and what I did with that was I rolled it up, um, and cl had clips on it. I used these clips right here on the rolled part. So the part at the bottom was rolled and what I was working on was up at the top. And as I um, as I moved and, and unrolled more, I pulled the top up more. And so it just kind of hung over the top of my table. My um, um, thing that I used, you know, my light pad and the stand and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Um, and then it got to a point when I was at the very bottom, I flipped it around and um, rolled up what was already done. And then I just had the top of it that I was working on so that the rolled up part was down below. If that makes sense, I was trying to describe it by how I was envisioning it, but that doesn't always make sense to people. Oh, we only have a couple left. This next one goes to Chris, and that's the only information I am giving yeah, at their request. Um, let's see. They have several pins here with multi-placers on them. So they ordered a um, four anti-mermaid pins, one in blue, one in pink, one in red, and one in light purple. Um, they wanted, they ordered two thin placers, um, four thin placers. They ordered two, three thin placers and two, five thin placers and one row straightener. And the note says, can you please put a three, a thin three placer on pink? Okay. So this one's pink and there's the three thin placer right there on pink and four placer on light purple so there's light purple with the four placer and this is what I was talking about how you can see that it um, it takes part of the pin away the cap you can't use and um, that extra area that was out here can't be used so it makes for a nice thicker grip though especially for people who need that thicker grip. 
like myself, doing a little bit of cleaning because, you know, men, sometimes they're just not very clean. Okay, so there's the four placer, three, and then there's the four, and five placer on blue. So there's the blue with the five placer. Hi, Jeremy. Glad you could drop in. And um, straightener on red. So there's the rose straightener on the red pen. And then the extra three placer. Oh, shoot. I got to take these off. Let me... um. I am good. Slept too much today, but, you know. Alright, so the extra three, four, and five placers are right here. So thank you so much, Chris, for placing this order. Um, again, appreciate that. Make sure these are all glued on. I know this is a special order for somebody special. This one needs to be glued, so I will set this aside to have that taken care of. So again, thank you very much for placing another order. And I believe the person this was ordered from might be watching. So just know I've got your back. I'm watching. I made sure to do it the right way. Thank you again for another order. All right, let me move that out of the way. We're almost done. We've got uh, Melanie in Texas. Need sleep? Don't we all, Jeremy? Well, at least I do. Not anymore, because I slept all day. Uh, let's see. Melanie ordered the orange stretching lipstick, which, I mean, these are the coolest looking drill pins, I think, um, in the lipstick line. They actually say lipstick on it. It looks like it's an exposed tube of lipstick, but it's not. You pull the cap off and you stretch it out and you've got your drill pin. Stick it in your purse. It can go anywhere with you. And this one does fit on the other end. So it kind of looks cool. It looks like you're diamond painting with a tube of lipstick. So that was the last one we had in stock. I did already order more, so they're on their way. Then she ordered a swirly, which is another one of the pins that I thought we were going to have to take out of the shop. But I, we did find out, I did find out from my husband that he can fit the, the white tips in here. Um, however, they do need to be glued. So um, the only way we will sell this pin is if it's with the white tip. Um, because of the fact that with him getting another job, it's a lot of work doing it with the metal tip and we just don't have the resources to be able to, not the resources, but the, the, the manpower to be able to spend a lot, a ton of time making all these complicated ones. But here is the swirly as it is right now. It was up to one, ran out of diamonds on my dreams design. Oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, let's see. She also ordered the Colorfully Gemmed in light blue with no filling. Yes, so this is the light blue one. And the other order should be, that's what this other, the other one should look like is this. But this has no filling in it. So there's that. And then she ordered the Premium Diamond Painting Drill Pen. Unicorn. So there's the unicorn. So it looks like it's her first order. So thank you so much, Melanie, for placing your first order. Welcome to our world. Yeah, I actually went to bed early for me. I went to bed at like 2 this morning. And still, I didn't get enough sleep. It happens so much. I just never know. It's like the later I stay up, the less sleep I get. But I, I'm able to function more on that less less amount of lesser amount of sleep than I am with a full eight eight ten hours or whatever 
Okay, this one goes to Deidre in Maryland. We only have one more after this. Um, she ordered the Sly Fox. What the heck? Why is... Why is everything... Oh, okay. Let's see if I can... I can't fix it, though. There we go. Um, unhide user. There we go. Sorry, Jeremy. Uh, SK's had a mis um, mishap with her phone. I'm heading off to bed, feeling exhausted from tonight and my Cali. Good night, everyone. Good night, Tina. I'm so sorry about your kitty. All right, yeah, I just have one more. Um, order. This is Deidre's order. This is the Sly Fox with the plastic tip. And she has ordered before. Thank you very much for placing another order. And then we have... Okay, this must be... There's another order somewhere, I think, that got skipped or I forgot to show something because I have some cover miters here that I know are in this order. No, don't worry about it, Eskies. That happens. Phones. I, my phone was um, lagging and I accidentally deleted um, someone's comment on my new message, a message where I was welcoming all the new members. And I was like, I was going through liking the new people that came in saying, thank you for welcoming me. And my phone was being stupid and it wouldn't like, and I kept pushing the button. And what happened was I ended up doing something, either deleting their comment or blocking them or kicking them out or something. I mean, it happens. Technology nowadays is wicked. Oh, was that, I didn't know that was an accident. So let me get that fixed too. Um, unless, okay, there we go. Um, unhide. There we go. Don't feel awful. It's it's okay, Eskies. It's all fixed. No problem. Hi there. Do you deliver to South Af Africa? Annabelle, I, um, my shop is on Etsy, so if Etsy ships to South Africa, then yes. Um, so yeah, if, if you've ordered from Etsy before and they ship there, then you, for sure. Okay, this one goes to Jane in Indiana she ordered the silver heart cover minder um, the thin turtle and the white cutesy kitty and this is the one that stands up kind of you've got to be really good to get it to stand up it's got the metal tip and then she ordered the perfect kitty in black which I do have more on order because these sold out as well. And these are really cute. The, the, the cap has a tail hanging down. So the person that ordered the blue dragon, I've got to find that one because the order has got to be here somewhere. I may have just forgot to bring it up or I skipped it. But thank you very much, Jane, for placing another order. I'm going to try and see where that other order is because I did write down the name of who it goes to. So let me see what happened to it. That one goes to Judy. She had the panda and the dog... Yeah, where did that one go? I showed it, didn't I? I didn't even show it. I, sh I must have showed the panda and the dog. But I missed the unicorn. 
No, I got the unicorn too. I just didn't get Elsa and Anna and um there it looks like there might be another one too. Uh Kathy Bradley. Oops, didn't mean to say that. Oops. Kathy. Um I will find your orders because they are ones that are going out tomorrow. I did not see them in this shipment, so I will make sure they get um, added. Don't know what happened. See if I can find them and I will get them fixed for you guys and get them sent out. Um, but this was what Kathy ordered right here. Oops, something garbage in there. She ordered the blue dragon from set two. I like this dragon as well. This is one of the pretty colors. And then Judy ordered Anna and Elsa with hers with her order. So I've got to find those and make sure they are included in with the shipment. Would like to know if you ship. Yeah, I did answer. Uh, did we not hear it? Yeah, she got, she got the answer. Okay. Well, hello and welcome back. Yes, Jeremy, thank you for coming back. <laughs> you got hidden on accident and you are fine and dandy no problem I just got confused there for a minute uh, so I've got a couple orders here that need to be fixed I need to figure out the ones for these ladies here so it's not even been two hours but um, she's checking out the shop awesome I know it hasn't been two, quite two hours, but I haven't made any of these cover reminders. I need to get them made so that they can have overnight to dry so we can mail them out tomorrow. I would love to sit here and do some diamond painting, but I know um, it is late for everybody, almost everybody on the East Coast and beyond. It's like 11.23 over there, and I mean, it's still early for me, but I need to eat dinner. Normally, I have a dinner before this, but... Nothing happens unless I'm awake, so dinner didn't get um, started until after I woke up. And by then, it was time for me to do the video, and I couldn't eat. So now I have to eat cold dinner. And Ashley's phone is dying. Well, you have a safe trip tomorrow, Ashley. I am going to go ahead and um, finish up this video here by saying thank you all for joining me thank you for watching and thank you for hitting that thumbs up button i really appreciate it um i will see you guys in my next video love you too ashley um have fun diamond painting you are welcome for hosting mrs coffee thank you for joining and thank you all to all my moderators for taking care of me and watching for trolls and I want you guys to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do, especially when you're driving down the freeway. Make sure you sparkle and blind those people that are tailgating you. <laughs> Something like that. Night, Donnie. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, Rose. Good night, everybody. You are welcome for hosting. Thank you, Jeremy, for joining. You have a wonderful evening as well. Good night, Cassie. Good night, superhero. Good night, John Boy. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.